Welcome everyone, I'm Davy Killian and today I am sharing with you eight practical and attainable tips to save money in your life today. So these tips are some that Blaze, my husband and I use on a monthly, weekly and daily basis that save us money in the end. So I hope you find these helpful for you and let's just get started. My first tip in saving money is to brew your own coffee. I have a regular coffee pot that I use and my husband and I both drink coffee so a Keurig was not in the line for us and those are pretty expensive anyways and the pods are expensive. So I just went with a regular coffee pot, I use a travel mug, take that to work and have a cup every morning. So it just definitely saves us money because that is how we like to drink our coffee. Not just one cup a day, we have, we have a couple every morning, maybe three, four, more than a couple. My second tip is to pack your own lunch. I'm a teacher, so I do take my lunch to school every day. I have a fridge in my office and I just like having my own food, school food, it's not the best anyways and there's not many places to eat out where I teach so it just definitely saves us money to pack our own lunch and um, my husband works from home so he eats leftovers so that has saved us a lot of money too he doesn't feel like he has to go eat out and I don't eat out as well my third tip is to buy sale groceries so we get a sale flyer from our local grocery store and I just shop what's on there if you follow me for a while you know that's how I shop I like to purchase things that are on sale for the week and just use those as our weekly groceries instead of buying things that are really high priced normal priced I just always look at what is on sale my fourth tip is to freeze overripe bananas. This may sound like a weird tip, but instead of tossing them, definitely just freeze them. They're great for smoothies. They're great for making banana bread. Um, a lot of other recipes I use call for overripe bananas. My grocery store even sells overripe bananas at a reduced rate, so sometimes I will just go to buy the overripe bananas. My fifth tip, which may be a little bit trickier for some of you, is to plant and grow your own produce. We have enough space in our backyard to have two gardens, and my husband does aquaponics as well. Um, if you want to know more about that, let me know in the comments below, because that's a whole another video in and of itself. But we plant and grow our own produce and then we freeze it for the winter months. But that saves us so much money on buying fresh produce at the store or at the farmer's market. And it's a hobby of mine anyway. So if you're looking for a hobby, try gardening. <laughs> All right, my sixth tip is to sell something from your house. So my husband is a reseller on Amazon and eBay, so this is easier for us to do as well. But I like to do it to find a Facebook swap, a Craigslist, have a garage sale, um, do something to make a little extra money instead of just letting that junk or things you no longer want sit around in your house. All right, my next tip is to buy in bulk. Now I don't do this with everything, I just do it with more non-perishable items. Yes, there's only two of us. However, things like canned beans or uh, tomato soup or things like that that we use throughout the entire year and that don't expire in the next month or so, we buy in bulk, whether it be from Costco, Sam's Club, online on boxed.com. I really do like boxed.com. Um, you can get things at a discounted rate from those stores and they last quite a while so it saves you a little extra money. My last tip that I have for you today is to shop consignment or thrift. As most of you know, I am a huge thrifter and garage sailor and I pretty much buy all my clothing and home decor from consignment stores, thrift stores, or garage sales. So that has saved us a lot of money. I have not paid full price for anything in my house. And I'm proud of it. I'm not ashamed to say that. And I DIY a lot of things too. So that has saved us quite a bit of money too. Because I know furniture can get quite expensive. So 
If you want to see more tips on how we save money in a practical manner, let me know in the comments below. Maybe you have some good tips that you can put in the comments and I'll put a compilation together, something like that. Um, and don't think these small things don't save money. They truly do add up. And in the end, it's just that nice pocket change to have for something that you may need in the future. Anyways, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification, and like this video for practical ways to save money. With that, I hope you have a blessed and wonderful day. Bye.